Here we go. I mean, What's... I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt. <laughs> 40 degree weather, you bastard. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me as always are my buddies Mike and Jess. How's it going? Howdy doody. Guys, we are going to be discussing The Walking Dead Season 7, Episode 13, yes. entitled Bury Me Here. If you haven't watched our live reaction and our review, go watch those. Watch them first. No, whatever. It's fine. Um, but if it, we we enjoyed this episode. Let's just we're gonna start off by saying yeah. we really we all enjoyed oh, this episode. We got we all gave it a really good rating. Uh, before we get into that, real quick, I want to mention two things. One, don't forget to stick around for our promo. Uh, we've got a promo with ComicBlitz.com that we want to give you guys. Um, so stick around for that. And second, uh, I just want to bring uh, to everyone's attention that Mikey got his um his arm his mic arm stand in the boom yeah. his scissor arm they call it. So uh, we're all running. Well, you know, hopefully it sounds a little better that we all got we all got our mics going. And um, yep. uh, I just want to point that out because it's really cool. I like looking at our images and seeing fucking microphones in our fucking faces. It's great. Uh, so, yeah, great. Anyway, <laughs> um, why don't we just jump right into it, guys? Uh, I yeah, think man. we wanted to uh, just go ahead and talk about let's let's talk about Richard's plan. Let's just yeah. start there. And just overall. You know, well, before think, that, don't you want to give them a little bit of a synopsis? I got it. Real, all right, I got you. I got you. You got uh, it. Yeah, this episode, things don't go as planned when a group of kingdom, kingdom, kingdomers, kingdomers. I don't like that. Okay. When a group I, of of our kingdomites. friends from the kingdom deliver goods to the saviors uh, during a routine supply drop off. Uh, kingdomers. So things, kingdomers. Yeah, it's dumb. It's, sh- fuck God. TV. Shut up. Knights right. of the kingdom. Give them that. I know. Yeah. Kingdomers, kingdom comers. I like that better. Kingdom though. residents, even. Come yeah, on. King, the residents, the <laughs> survivors of the kingdom fighting the savior. Anyway, um, so guys, the uh, of the kingdom. Uh, if uh, yeah, I mean, so Richard's plan. I, I think halfway yeah. through, we were all like, "Oh fuck!" Like, no way! Like, this was Mike and Richard. I caught on. And yeah. It was like, I think, yeah, yeah, yeah I kind of felt was it. doubting it. Yeah. yeah, I kind of felt it, man. I mean. Just, I think, just to get to the opening, we were all kind of like, "What the hell are they loading up this one fucking? Um, what the hell is it? A melon? What the hell it's is a it? Candle. Candle. It's either candle. a honeydew or a candle. Yeah. Of, yeah, yeah. So I just thought that was, you know, we were all like, "What the fuck is that about?" So obviously, in the end, we find out what that was all about. But yeah, I had Richard, an initial thought Richard, of that actually. You know, so that was well, cool. Yeah. yeah well, um, I, I was thinking, are they are they going to ambush them with one cantaloupe? I was thinking they're going to open the doors. What is it? Bam. Yeah. yeah. I, I, you know, I, I, and like you guys said, I mean, at first I, I was like, I, I was like, wait a minute. Did they set that up? Did, you know, I mean, obviously Richard made it look like they set it up or something like that. And I was like, maybe, maybe he's going to do that. You know, maybe they came in, they snuck it and they were trying to set them up. The saviors were trying to set them up to make it seem like, Oh, hey, look, you didn't give us the whole thing. And then obviously it came out, you know, and then when it all dawns on you, like, oh, my God, like, obviously, like he's, you know, um, and I forget which one of you guys said it, but you guys, you know, harken back to the previous episode with with um, Daryl, not the previous one, but the, the one with Daryl, where he's like, if, if you want to sacrifice, you do it yourself, you know? Yeah, I think Jesse said, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, like I'm trying to remember, I think I did. Yeah, I think. Yeah. You know, it was all it was all. It was, I mean, look, he, he, he was willing to fucking do it, you know? And, and I know we get down on Richard and, and stuff like that, but, I mean, you know, even throughout the episode, we were all like, you know what? Like, Mike, I think you might have been a little iffy about it, but Jesse and I were like, you know what? This guy did did something, and then we end up finding yeah. out why he did something, and we got his story, and it was and it was. That's like, what kind of made made me feel for him a little bit. I, I don't know what the way they were shooting the scenes that he was in when the, when they were meeting with with the with the saviors it it it, it, sh, it it was yelling out to me right away that that it was Richard that was doing this that that it was Richard's plot and Richard's plan but you know I did feel for him you know when he was sitting down and had the dialogue back and forth with Morgan after Morgan found out the situation and what his yeah. his deal was um and you guys felt for him too. I mean, I know Chris was saying, "Hey, listen, you know, this guy, you know, this guy had a legitimate beef yeah. and he really wanted to fight and we get the story that he didn't fight in his in his previous um group that he was in and that led to the death of his wife and 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 um, Three days the, the later, death his of daughter. his daughter. So we we did get a backstory of him which was which was interesting. So it gave you that heart um, actually. 
Yeah, it did, really and he was. did a great job. You know, he did a great job. We we spoke about this in the review, um, but it did. It gave us it gave us some sympathy for for Richard, um, even though it was at Ben's, you know, death and Ben's cause because you're you know, um, he wasn't the one that was killed. You know, it was so the, predictable he was going to die though, but it still kind of hit hard. Yeah, well, you, yeah. You, you mean Ben, right? He, he yeah. You guys were like, and, and and I knew it. I was playing devil's advocate, but you guys were like, oh, he's gonna die, he's gonna die. You both like, I'm like, nah, he'll be fine. I, I, I mean, think we were calling Ben's death for a while. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, the second he was introduced, you were like, well, oh, that fucking yeah. guy's dead. He's dead. He's gonna be the I reason mean, yeah, the kingdom. It was pretty. It was pretty obvious. I, I but... think we actually said he was gonna be the reason. I feel yeah. it was. Oh hell which yeah. One of us said it, yeah. and I know we all agreed yeah. he was gonna be the one to spark off. You know. Uh, but so they did it so great, though. That was the thing. They didn't yeah. do it in a, in a manner that you were like, okay, yeah, we, of course, this is the way it is. No, it was like done it was really, unexpected, really, really well. Like, yeah. I'm listen. I I'm not gonna. I'm gonna say I give props to 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 Richard's fucking plan. He he's yeah. a man who was hurting. He was a man who was like, I care about where I am now, and I'm not about to let these people. He says it. I'm not gonna. I, he's, I can't not do anything yeah. again. He's like, yeah. I won't. I won't do that. But he did it at his. He did it his way. His way. Yeah. You know what I mean? He he did it in a sneaky way. And um, listen. I mean, we can we can feel sympathetic to him. But look what happened the second time when they were meeting with the saviors. Richard, at that point, we were a little unsure when they were showing some of the scenes before, like if Richard actually told Ezekiel. And um, that there that is something to say about Richard that he promised Morgan. I have a theory on that one. That he was going to say something, and and it you know, did, and he yeah. did it. Well, what? Yeah, what do you think? All right. So, like you said, he's told Morgan he was going to say something, but you also mentioned uh, that Morgan would have to kill again. Is what Richard said in the ep- uh, while he was watching the episode. And I know you remember that one. Yeah. Uh, and. Man. There, there was needs, so and he said something along the lines of, "You need to get in the trust of the saviors." Yeah. Well, did he not do that? You made a good point, and I'm going to harken back to that. That so, was a spot yeah. on so point. So Richard, so he continued so his plan fucking kinda, plan. Yeah. It was yeah, still his plan. Yeah. He says he said to Morgan exactly. He said, mm-hmm. "What we need to do is we need to we need to do get them, uh, appease them, and you know throw throw them off the scent, yep. and then we and then we strike." Yeah. And you're right. And yeah, mm-hmm. I, I actually agree with you. I think I absolutely agree with that. He decided to be like, I'm not going to tell them Morgan's going to get pissed and probably kill me. I mean, I mean, look, that, that I mean, that is kind of a stretch. But at the same time, hell, he already went through the whole, he expected to die anyway, thinking that huh? Jared was going to shoot him anyway. So yeah, why well, the hell not? I, I agree with that. I agree with that. I think I think that's well, you know, but I'm not going to lie. I was fucking still. So I was like, holy shit, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> Two deaths we did not expect. Freaking Ben stuff! It really caught me off guard. I was like, "Oh, okay, the long-haired prick's gonna kill him. Yeah, he's gonna kill yeah. Richard, and then he shoots Ben." And it's like, "Jesus!" Christ. You thought Ben? You thought Ben would have been killed uh, later on, maybe during yeah. like, another fight or something? Yeah, like one of the yeah. First I was battles, thinking, you know what? Yeah. He's gonna kill Richard. Ezekiel's gonna be mad, but that's not gonna spark it off. Yeah. And yeah. then next week, Ben's gonna retaliate, or Ben's gonna retaliate immediately. You know, they. I'm. I'm like they. Kudos, man, because. I, I I think I had said in the previous episode where, um, you know, we saw this, we saw them talking to the saviors and doing a supply drop. I was like, oh, God, OK, so now I know it's going to happen. He, they're going to do something's going to happen. And Ezekiel's going to be like, OK, now we have to fight. But they did it so well. You know, it wasn't there was no eye rolls involved. It was like it was it was done yeah. really well. And, you know, and I do want to mention, guys, one of the reasons why I think that we're raving about this episode is one it was really uh, it was good i'm not going to take yeah. away from that however mm-hmm. we are coming off of three not so great episodes three slower it, episodes three one slower of which was not episodes really great. that you know and i think i think this really was the other end of the spectrum for us and, oh, and, absolutely. and so i think we were really looking for this and you know had we had like one that was this good yeah Prior, mm. ah, you know, we'd probably still be like, "This I is mean, still a great episode." I mean, you know, we're not is, dumb. We, we this know is, what's up. This is what I think about that because obviously we've been giving the show a lot of shit um, since the first episode of the mid-season premiere, uh, which we all thought that it was, you know, it was a great episode with the whole Daryl thing and everything like yeah. that. But um, it, it, this episode gave us 
what we've been lacking so much these last few episodes. It's such a nice, I use this word so much, like the redemption of this episode yeah. that they get. It, it's just beyond what we've what we've seen in, with these filler episodes. Oh yeah, you know? story wise and, it, and the action it, and yeah, yeah it's because we've been talking. Leave, we've been we've above. been yeah, we've been saying how um, they may lose viewers and and hey what is yeah. amc doing and and with this fucking deer that everybody's talking about which was absolutely hideous and where's this money going and and all this kind of stuff and and they, and they give you this they give us this you know yeah, so let's let's hope this is what we want from the show this is what we these, know the show can yeah. provide yeah i don't want it to be listen i love the show uh, but i don't want it there to be um a grouping of 16 episodes for the whole season and we get six Media lousy episodes or six filler episodes. I I hope they kind of learn from this because I'm I know that they're getting so much backlash. Well, you know from what these, from these episodes, you know, just give us more of what we fucking want. Well, you know what and, though now now I think the filler might be done because now they've done yeah. it. now they've got, got three to the point left. where yeah. Ezekiel says Carol comes back it's on. And, you know and she yeah. says it you know so it's that's on. gonna be on but so, I mean. But, before we get down to Carol, I mean, I'm kind of doing this in a kind of an order. Yeah. I mean, we kind of, you know, we touched on Ben's death. I just wanted to, you know, say that, you know, I think it was also done well. It, it, he died very quickly. Didn't go through this, take care of my brother. And they didn't do that. He was he was consoling he, them as he's dying on the table at Carol's house. He's consoling them. I think he was quoting something from Morgan's book. Yeah, to oh, hurt yeah. one's enemy is to hurt oneself. Yeah. yeah. There was one part, and remember I told you to remind me, but I reminded myself. Um, I know you would. The leader of the saviors that comes and does these drops yeah. with the kingdom. You can see, obviously, um, throughout past episodes that this guy isn't as evil a person as no. some of these other saviors that we've seen as evil as Negan. And when he... Or even fucking Stephen Ogg. Fucking, yeah, exactly, uh, exactly. Um what I wanted to say was look at what he did when he found out about Ben's death. Yeah. You know what I mean? It literally hurt him enough to where he didn't just blow the guy's head off, but he told the guy, get the fuck out well, of here. Negan wouldn't have been happy out. with him killing. One that of his was, own that's men. where I'm going. Right. That's where I'm going. Yeah. I'm wondering but, how much power this guy has. We've never seen him interact with Negan. So I'm wondering, True. this guy has to be some kind of higher up. This I guy think he's has just to a be. lieutenant, just like Og is. What's yeah, his that's, name again? That, what's Og's character? Simon. Um, Simon. Yeah, Simon. Uh, I think he, I think he's just I, I, he's just he's a lieutenant. He he's could a, he's be. A, he I could be. But I think we he's still, one of those guys. You know. He's obviously interacting with the kingdom. He's obviously um, has an important role as far as. You know Negan's he's a man. collector, right? It's, you know what I, I mean. Know what they call and him. for him to say, you know? "All right, he's, he's leader this, of an outpost." Yeah, mm -hmm. but what would happen? Like I said, we never seen him interact with Negan, so we don't see that. You know, we see how Negan feels about Dwight. We know how Negan feels um, about about um, Simon. You know what I mean? I'm wondering what would have happened if he would have killed, you know, what would happen if he would have killed that long haired dude, you know, that shot Ben, you know what I mean? Like, well, he obviously knows or feels that he has enough power to be justified if he did. Yeah. Like if the dude was to mouth. I don't the think anything would have happened though. Yeah, That's I what mean, I'm saying. That's I, think, like, I don't think, I think he would have been like, you know, I mean, he probably would have been like, you know, you really probably shouldn't kill my guys without telling me, but you made an executive yeah. decision and yeah. Yeah. I'm going to so stand by what just, you think. I think that's, yeah. Probably what it would have said, but you know, I have you're a feeling right. that guy could end up being being some kind of. Now that motherfucker's getting an arrow to the head, but I mean, the point I, is, yeah. <laughs> the point is, they, yeah, you're right. He, he, that I was, I was, I was surprised, then I was pleasantly surprised. I was surprised yeah. about the attack. I was surprised. I was pleasantly surprised by the fact that he did that, and you know. He, you know, he kind he of he sorted his face. He, showed, he sorted his yeah, face. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, like, and again, this is why dead. this is this is why the characters and the acting got a got a, f a fucking five out of me in the review because yeah. Yeah. everybody, everybody did great. Even the ones who, even the rat face rat face bastard Jared himself. You know, like just playing that fucking part good. Yeah. Um, you know, which is what Ben called him. And like, Jerry, Jerry, like you know. Oh, and Jerry, yeah. Leave the cobbler. Leave the cobbler. What? Yeah, really? He's like, 
fine. Bring it. You know, <laughs> fucking Jerry. Hey, Jerry took a hit to the face this time, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was like, you don't hit man. Jerry and not expect retaliation. I hit Jerry, now. man. And I want to see him use this fucking battle axe, man. That's what I want to see. I was he's hoping gonna. he was going to take that thing and bury it in freaking uh, Jared's head. He's going to use that. They they so. purposely give him that, so I can definitely see oh, yeah. him use that. Uh, I want to see I want to see Ezekiel fucking chop some heads off with his fucking cane uh. sword. Yeah. I mean, it's going to it's going to get Listen, we know they're not they're not going to skimp. Excuse me. They're not going to skimp on that shit. They oh, they're no. good. They're good with this stuff. You know what I mean? They're good. So, um, yeah, so Ben's death, you know, I mean, there's really not yep. much more to say about it. Uh, it, was, no. it was sad, and what, what got you more was after the fact, when it did a little montage of, like, Ezekiel telling his little brother, and, you know, it's just, again, yeah. I like that they didn't they didn't, they didn't, didn't drag it out. It just happened, the, the, the visual effects, the special effects of the blood soaking through immediately when they cover it. It's like, it's just a little heart-wrenching. Like, damn, man, like, you know, like, and I, was, really and I really was. liked that kid. I liked that kid. But you see what they did here was... And, they and built it up. People, people, yeah, and people. You guys can 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 disagree with me if you want, but they wove it. You understand? Like, yes, they did. It was you knew Ben was going to die because of all the things. Oh, he found the girl and his little brother, yeah. and then he goes to Carol and says, "Can you train me?" You know what? And yeah, maybe it was a little bit in our face, but at the same time, yeah. I still think it was done really well. Maybe it was just me expecting it to be done well or really wanting it to be done it, well. It, it was. It was. It was done. It was done well, but you. There you was a lot it. of yeah. You knew you knew it was his time. I mean, we, like we yeah. said, we were calling it. But you know, you know what? and what? I, I I just want I, before I forget it, I just want to mention that not only did they weave that in, but they made many people accountable for his death. Many people. Oh, yeah. They made they made Carol accountable mm-hmm. because he didn't want it. She didn't want to train him. They made yep. Richard accountable because he's the one that got him killed instead of himself. Uh, yeah. Morgan accountable. You know because what I mean? he trained him. Right? You got... And, um, and also Ezekiel. made Ezekiel. And yeah. Ezekiel feels accountable. So you, you've got these four people that feel accountable for this kid's death. Like well, That was the whole... The, he's the reason they're going to fight. Right. That's, it was that's but it, well Exactly. And, and so yeah. you have these four strong characters, you know, yeah. that... I mean, look, Carol... The reason they're making a big deal about Carol and Morgan is because, let's face it, they're two of their most badass fighters, regardless. Yeah. Regardless of how they think and what their politics are at the moment... They are, you know what I mean, and I and I fucking love that, and I love that they've yeah, well, taken those two characters because these are two fucking characters that don't even exist. We in love the comic them anymore. Yeah, we were saying when they were both standing at at the fence by Carol's house, we we're just like, oh, that's a fucking tag team. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know yeah. I was thinking that, but yeah, we're I mean, getting the band back together, man. Like yeah, that's exactly. what's going down. Exactly, so. and with and and it made you know we see that with Morgan to get into Morgan a little bit, we see how it affected him. You know, we oh, see yeah. the we montage, see when yeah. Morgan realized Richard's plan and we've seen the flashes and we've seen the, the scenes of clear and we've seen Dwayne and, you know, it was His just, um, yeah. yeah, 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 it's, it's, it's more Morgan is back, you know, and Carol is now back and um, Ezekiel's ready to fight. And just right. like Chris said, I mean, it's it this this whole episode was um and and the, and the groups ready to go to battle was because of Ben. Yeah. You know what I mean? Definitely. It was all because of Ben. Which we all knew. Like and you, like yeah. you guys we, you know you called it but again done really well. Mm-hmm. Um no yep. M- Morgan's turn was great, man. Uh it was it was fucking awesome. You yeah. know, I, yeah. I did not just... I really did not see him killing Richard. Mm-hmm. And at first I was like what the as we're doing it I'm going. What the fuck is what the fuck are you? Yeah. You know. But then I, yeah, I, I, since everybody let him go. I was like, oh god. Yeah. You know, they let him go. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They were like, they let it play out, and I was like, I was like, shit. And then he just tells on him. He was just like, he was all him. Blah blah. I was like, I was really just like, what the fuck? That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, that was so, unexpected. That was crazy. Yeah. But I, I'm normally like a Lenny James right? fanboy, and I was blown by it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Blown away by it. There we go. English. <laughs> yeah. English is hot. Um, and then you got, and then, and then he in turn fucking makes Carol turn. And then, you know, it's just, I'm I mean, glad that we got that. I'm glad that yeah. we got this extra 10 minutes and they didn't leave off. Cause that adds to how great this episode was. You know what I mean? Yeah. We kind of did get quick, quick, you know, little jumps. It wasn't yeah. drawn out. It wasn't, 
You know what I mean? They got from, you know, Ben shot and they were, they were at Carol's place. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, uh, uh, you know, Morgan leaves and Morgan's at Carol's place. Like it yeah. was, it was quick. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And sometimes, yeah, it was not overdone. It was right away. And the expression on Carol's face was fucking awesome with her tears that, you know, that they can just come whatever she, you know, everybody she... cried in this man. Lenny James yeah. cried seven times. She cried seven times. Yeah, you know Richard, what I mean? Like, you know? Richard was bawling, but it's like the what was really good was the fucking dialogue was spot on oh. and it was it was legit. Like it wasn't it wasn't they didn't beat around the bush. They didn't try and, you know, uh, do, do wordplay. It was literally like he's like, you want to know what happened? She's like, yeah, All right, this is what happened. And he fucking told her. Yeah. And he's like, yeah. oh, you know what he did? This dead guy. He did this like he like it all just came like do it. Just talk, just say the words. Don't fucking yeah. be like. You know, like yeah. I loved it, man. They did, they did, they did so well with it, man. It was what. You reminded me of the look on her face when he says, "I killed Richard, strangled him." Yeah, yeah. it's like, God dang it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you no, know, uh, uh, Carol, Carol, like you said before, Chris, that Carol would feel part of um, uh, some guilt from maybe uh, yeah. Ben dying. You know, she, I'm sure she felt a lot of guilt. Realizing that Olivia was now killed and that um, Glenn was maybe, oh, you maybe know, she and, felt that she could have possibly stopped it or yeah. you know who knows if you would have been able to do that. Obviously, with you know me, she's if, going if Carol to because, could have been there. because think but, about it. He went. She went to him in the beginning of the episode and says she had this bad dream or whatever. And she went yeah. to him and she's like, "Did what, what happened?" Daryl said nobody, but I don't believe him. Basically, and he's and, like, "Find out for say yourself. Lenny." But you know, Morgan just. He answered her basically by not answering her, and yeah. so she's gonna go back and think. Now she's, you know, she obviously she's back there now. She's gonna be like, "Damn it, I could have saved him. I could have fucking." And I bet you, if there is anything in the next to come episodes, if there's still, I mean, not really convincing left, but like more of a, a push, she's gonna probably mention it. Like, I could have been there. I should. I could have done yeah. something to prevent it. Whatever, you know. I, or at least yeah. I think that's what would happen. But yeah, I agree. She's, yeah. Yep. You know, she's definitely held a camera. Carol's a fucking badass. Morgan's a badass. Let's go. I just hope Morgan doesn't, uh, hope, you know, because we saw Morgan. The one thing, I, you know, we love how Morgan's a great fighter. We know he's a great fighter. Um, when Ezekiel um, said, like, let's go, whatever, and, and Morgan um, said, uh, well, he took, took uh, Dwayne, you know? I'm like, all right, so it's a little crazy, Morgan. You know what I mean? I hope we don't get. I hope we get a like a ready to fight Morgan, but not a psychotic. I don't think we'll get psychotic. Morgan. He started I mean? to think of Ben as a son, and that reminded I him. I guess. Of I guess that's why they gave us that little that little hiccup. Yeah, in, he's got. In, you you know. got to have a little bit in there. Again, it was just yeah. really well written this time. Like it was just. Yeah. I didn't expect that, Dwayne. I, I really didn't. I was like, oh, geez. He yeah. said Dwayne, and all of a sudden I had the same flash that was in the montage. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, damn. Like, yeah. You know, like, I'm telling you, man. Look, we were just all in this episode. I oh, mean, fuck yeah. you watch the live reaction, and it's like, you know, yeah, we joked here and there. We do our little voices, whatever we do. But but most of the time, it's just like this. <laughs> yeah, I looked at our cameras, that's and we're all happens. just like. Yeah, that's what happens when, like, when, we're just when like, we have listen, a good like, episode. Like, no yeah. joke. We didn't even want to joke. We're just like, all of Richard's stuff, Morgan's fucking breakdown. We were just like. Like just not saying a word, you well, know, like because that's what happens. That's what happens when there's a great episode. It's great. You know, we oh, love yeah. it, and that's good TV, and that's why that's why we're doing this because it's fun and it's great to talk about. Yeah, man. Um, yeah. Is there anything else? Is there anything lad, that any little things that we forgot or we didn't mention that we want to just say, Jess? Anything? That's uh, mind? Oh, I, I meant to say it earlier when we was talking about like the degrees of our uh, like fascination with these episodes. Yeah, I, I've been having this theory on it. And we started off this midseason with a good middle of the line on a dial. Let's say that. Yeah, it's right. just straight up, 90 degree angle if you have another line on there. All right. Well, then we get the next episode, which is the garbage pail kids. Yeah. This side's good. This side's bad. It flips it immediately over midway to the bad yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. You're 45 degrees there. And then the Eugene episode. Yeah. All right. 15 yeah, degrees. Tweaked it, a little bit. it wasn't, it wasn't and, horrible, but. Yeah. And then previous episode with the horrible CGI deer and all that even give it another 15 <laughs> degrees you're back to normal and then this episode comes you're already at the all right we're, we're feeling it it's going to be a good episode but no they take it another 
45 degrees. Not not that way, but that way. And they flip. Yeah. No, I. Episodes, so. Yeah. I agree. I agree. And like I said before, I just hope that we don't have too much more of this because, um, what what else can we do? We've I mean, I hope episodes. they don't. They gotta I hope it, they man. don't drag. I hope they don't drag like an oceanside meeting thing or um, anything more with these garbage fail kids. We're, we're getting that. Yeah, we're gonna. No, get I think it. we'll get it, but let's not make it uh, like a like a fucking sloth walking down the. I don't down think so road, because you know, you know what? Mean? Look, let's, they they know what. Look, whether we like it or not, what they I have a feeling that they plan those three. They know it's slow. Listen, they're not fucking dumb. They understand the story. They're editing this thing. They understand that the way they're editing it, it's yeah. it's slower than the other ones. And they're, they're ramping. So it starts, like you said, Jess, it started up here or over here, and then it went this way, and then now they're bringing it all the way there. Yes, they know what they're doing, and they know they have to do it. They know people yep. aren't going to drop off now because they're building. So we have three episodes left. They're going to build it. They're going to now build. The next, if you if you watch the the coming tracks for the next one, you're gonna see you're gonna have Sasha and you're gonna have Rosita and they're gonna they're gonna do their thing. There's gonna be the ocean side thing and and if it follows the comics, Mikey, you and I were talking off camera when Jesse couldn't hear us of his technical issues, but you know you were talking about <laughs> what they're gonna do that's similar to the comic in this situation coming yeah. up. And you know we won't say anything for spoilers at the moment, even though we always spoil thing everything all the time. Uh, yeah, it's definitely they're, now that these last three, they're going to ramp the shit out of it, I think. So yeah. I don't think we're going to get another slow, maybe a portion of the episode, but I don't think it's going to be uh, all out slow. Well, it's got to be. Think I about still it. think my theory that I stated at the beginning of the season is right. With that? the it's gonna go half. crib and all that. With, with what? what? With the crib and all that. Oh, well, with the bomb and throwing something oh, over the wall. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, spoiler yeah. alert. Negan says throw the grenades, and they throw grenades over the maybe. wall. Maybe. Oh, yeah, 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 hey, yeah, maybe. Yeah, 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 you yeah. know, maybe. Um, you know, I guess we'll see. But my, you know, my thing about, um, about what do we have? Three now? We have three episodes left, right? So it's got to be, yeah. you know, I'm still a little leery on the on the, the scavenger people. But I'm, I am thinking that... Um, Oceanside, it will most likely be something quick. Like it'll be, um, you know, Rick meeting them, and it's not going to be a long, drawn out journey. Oh, yeah, yeah. Rick there, yeah. and I would and love it if they like, just okay. if they just showed up, yeah. right? And and, and we yeah. we didn't see the initial meeting, and it was like they they walk into Alexandria. Here they go. Yeah, I would love that. I'd be like, yeah. that's fucking yes. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's you know. Let's see what happens because. Um, this episode was just, yeah, it was a great one. It was one. good. It was a good way back. It, it, drew, it, it drew us back in. I still, my, my theory still stands that um, I agree with Jess and that they're going to they're gonna throw the bottle. It's going to end the season. There's going to be no huge fight. I mean, there's going to be something major, but that's going to start the beginning of next season. And yeah. there's going to be fighting that whole first half of the season. It's going to yeah. end to the second half of the season. So the war with Negan will end, and then we're going to get that time jump in the second half of season eight. That's what I think. Spoiler alert, we're forgetting something here. Go. F- what about the White's comic story? Oh, well, that's yeah. going to have to be, but that's going to have to be the in now. That's going to have to be now. By this time in the comics, when they're all deciding to get ready for war, he's already like Yeah, so that's going to have to be now then. That's going to or or that's or within the, the next three episodes. Don't use it. Or that's the finale. You think oh. that could be the finale? Where Dwight uh, turns. It, yeah, my yeah. God dang it, yeah. Oh, man, that might put a wrench in my half of the ep- my half of the season where it ends. It might, but but maybe not. But it, maybe not. Ah, Mid season of next uh, season is when my thing will happen. Probably. Oh maybe. come on, no, don't just. Uh, but then, but yeah. then you are getting really close to catching up to the comic. Yeah. Because and remember, they don't have to use everything. They don't have to use everything that the no, you know in no. the comic. They could change things. They could leave things yeah, out. They can point. change. Yeah. We've seen them do that. So I really hey. want the White's comic story, though. I mean, I I love his comic character. Yeah. It might not be yet. You know, it might not be yet. You know, mm-hmm. maybe you know. Uh, we still we obviously my since timing the Sherry thing. Up. You know. Yeah. Since no, no, you were right. Sherry yes. left. We still haven't we still haven't seen what's going on with Sherry and we don't know. Now we haven't seen Dwight now, so it could just be Dwight out on his own or something and he bumps into her. Who knows? I mean yeah, who fucking knows? knows. Yeah. 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 
who knows? Either way, if anything, if anything, it'll probably be a small part of. I don't think they could spend a whole Dwight. You know what I mean? You never know, man. Yeah, they they, they do some wacky shit sometimes. They 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 spent the whole thing on Eugene, so yeah, well. why not Dwight? I mean, Dwight does become a bigger character, which is fine because guys, here comes a shift, right? We're getting a shift now, of you know, at, it's around this time where you know characters start, they add these more characters in, and they're gonna start shifting things. You know what yeah. I mean? So. Um, and yep. hey, if if they do follow the the comic, you know, there's you know, once that time shift hits, you know, forget it. It's gonna be insane, you know. With with, with oh episodes. yeah, but I mean, bottom line, we 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 enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Obviously, you're gonna let us know, and we appreciate that. So tell us what you thought down below, and and, yep. and give us your theories, and and you know, we want to know what the hell's going on in your heads with everything. Um, Jesse, why don't you tell them about Comic Blitz real quick? All right, so if you haven't caught on our previous uh, reviews or discussions or our uh, reactions, we have an amazing deal with comicblitz.com. And more or less, you go there, you put your code third person pop, dollars, well, we, a dollar a month. We lost, we lost so, you there. For there you we, go. we lost you there. Yeah, sorry, man. You lost me there. Yeah, he's, yeah. J- Jesse's uh, um, video and my ISP is saying. a douchebag. You're saying so, comic, we go to comicblitz.com, you put in the promo code third, third person pop. What does it get us? Uh, three months, three dollars, unlimited comics, uh, or you can go for some reason for the ten dollar uh, or the ten issue option for some reason. Uh, but it's all the same price. Go unlimited. <laughs> yeah, same go price. unlimited. Get unlimited comics. Um, we've got to check out comicblitz.com. Go over there and check out everything they got. Um, get your binge on, and uh, yeah, it's good stuff. Um, so that's gonna do it for us here. Uh, if you listen on iTunes, thank you very much. If you wouldn't mind leaving a yes. review, help us out. That'd be awesome. Uh, guys on YouTube, thank you very much for the comments. Please continue those. We love them very, very much. Uh, so we'll definitely get to those. Uh, check us out at Third Person Pod on all the socials. And I think that's going to do it. Is that a show? I, I believe so. That's an episode. That's a wrap. That's a wrap, guys. That's a wrap. Thank you very much, guys. And we will see you on the next discussion for The Walking Dead. All right. Peace out. Peace.